Hey, this is Steve here, and uh, just want to show you something real quick on how to create good blog content. Uh, a lot of people get held up in, you know, what do I write about? Uh, what do I put on my blogs? Uh, you know, they, they need ideas for daily, uh, you know, uh, thoughts. You know, and and how do I, you know, can I write my blog content sporadically? Should I follow a, a set pattern? Well, I'm going to show you kind of a, a real simple way to to find blog content. Um, one of the first things that you really need to do is you need to find a subject that interests you. You know, you want to combine that with finding a subject matter that you know is also going to interest your target audience, uh, because you know that you want to make sure that they're searching for what you've got. And once you start blogging and you're adding to your blog uh, content, you know, daily, weekly, whatever. Uh, you want to make sure that it's something that people are going to be looking for. But the reason you also want to do it is something that you're interested in because, you know, readers can tell uh, where you're at. They want to see your passion in, in what you're writing, and it really helps you writing it. Uh, <clears throat> I want to show you how to use Amazon here to find some good blog content. And this is really kind of a neat way to do this. You go into Amazon, you find books, okay, here, for example, I like to I like to elk hunt. So let's say I wanted to write my my blog on elk hunting, but I was kind of stuck on saying, well, what should I write it about? You know, should I do a series on elk hunting? You know, so for some creative ideas, um, go to go to Amazon here. I'm gonna go into the books and let's just go elk hunting. And here we have a whole bunch of books on elk hunting. All right, one of the neat things with this is that you can scroll down and, and see the different books out there on elk hunting and let's say elk hunting secrets what a better one for somebody like me go ahead and open this book up all right here's a neat feature that I want to show you when you put your mouse over here on it you see this little thing right here it says table of contents click on it open it up and look right there look at all this different content that's here in the uh, the table of contents to give you ideas on what to to blog about. You know, I could just using this. I could blog about scouting. I could blog about um, using uh, different scents, how to track different cartridges. Uh, you know, this is just ideas on on you know where to find information on on what you might want to be blogging about. Let's go. Let's take somebody that may like. Um, Gardening. Type that in. Okay. And now you can get more specific in what you're looking for here in Google, you know, to narrow down your books. But let's just look through here on uh, well, Gardening Basics for Dummy. There we go. Open that one up. Again, let's go over and mouse over it. Ah, that one doesn't want to do it for us. Let's go ahead and click on it, anyways. I bet you when I scroll down through here, because they give you an inside look at it, here you start seeing some of the different content in this book. Okay, here's some ideas of what to, to if you're going to write on gardening, um, different kinds of plants, uh, about light, about fertilizer, uh, watering issues with different plants, uh, annual plants versus perennial plants. You know things like that. So this is a great, great tool that you can use by coming over to Amazon and taking a look inside of these books and seeing their their contents, their table of contents. And here's raised bed gardening. Let's see this one. Come on, pop up. There we go. Let me just scroll down to his table of contents. Again, here's your table of contents. Uh, proper placement of beds. Um, making your own compost, strategies for planting seeds in your raised bed garden. All kinds of stuff here that you can use to find uh, content and ideas for you know doing a series of blog and whatnot. Now I do advise you don't plagiarize anything that's in here, but this gives you you know something that you can lay out exactly you know how you want to do your blog. So going back on that, um, what we're talking about, so you want to choose a subject that you're interested in. Uh, using Amazon books to find your subject matter, to find your content. And there is actually another way to do this here. 
if you want to get more relevant what's going on in the world, let's just go to Google search. And you can also go into Google Trends. Let's see what's trending in the world right now. Uh, the new Galaxy S4 uh, smartphone is coming out. And uh, Kobe Bryant, he always seems to be trending. Um, so just go down through here and you can just see what, what's in your top trends right now. Uh, if you want to you know, write about different people. There's also just regular trends that you can go in and find over the course of time. Let's back up here. So the big thing is that you can just look at the different trends. Um, you see what's trending in different parts of the world. I think there's a place here you can also go in to see, uh, narrow it down. What's trending during, you know, let's explore trends here. Okay. Here's some different trends that you'll find that are, you know, searching a lot out there. You can narrow it down. Let's just say in the past 90 days, uh, different categories, auto vehicles, you know, what, what vehicles are, are trending out there. Um, you know, these are things that people are in putting in Google search and looking for, and all they're doing is showing you. So this gives you some idea on, on some blog subjects that you can uh, write on. Again, I recommend that uh, pick something that, that you're interested in uh, because you're, you've already got a passion for it. It's easier to write about it. Um, again, you can use Amazon books to find ideas uh, around that subject matter. And if you want to get more relevant content, uh, go in and use Google Trends and, and see what uh, people are talking about there. So I hope this helps you to, to figure out, you know, what do I blog on? Um, the next uh, video I'm going to do and the next blog I'm going to do is actually how to find, like when you're looking here for your subject matter and when you're going to label your blog, how to use long tail, what's called long tail keywords to find um, how to put your, your title on it to be found in the Google search engines easier. So that will be the next video and I'll see you then.